We uh, toured together, uh, Skid Row and his previous band, Heat, toured together in Europe. You know, we were just in the dressing room and we heard him singing from back there and I was like, wow, this dude's got pipes. And then went out, watched a couple parts of a couple shows. We never really had much interaction because by the time they were Get, we were going on, they were leaving the venue and whatever, and then started hearing about his, his career, about winning Idol in Sweden, and, and then further down the line, it's like, well, he auditioned with 18 in life, and we're like, you gotta be kidding me, and you know, so come to February of this year, is yeah. it, around there, we're like, I send the guys some of the stuff, I said, listen to this dude, and they're like, yeah, that's the dude from Heat, and we're like, wow, he sings really good, let's see. Let's see, let's just ask him. You know, we sent him a couple new songs. Said, hey man, just be you. Do what you do on it. They came, he just, like in 24 hours, he did like two songs, sent them back. We're like, this is awesome. This is really great. And then we're like, we, we got on a Zoom. We're like, hey, you want to join Skid Row? <laughs> <laughs> and here's the big thing, is he hesitated and looked down. I didn't hesitate. Yeah, he did. He went, I was just shocked. He went like this, he went. And he looked down and um, I could feel Snake like sweating through ah. the Zoom. And I'm like, dude's gonna say no. Yeah, He's I gonna know. say I no. Know. I was just testing this. And he goes, he, goes, he goes, sorry, of course, of course, of yeah, course. For it's a moment, like, definitely. It's like, man, yeah. we were on our knee giving you the ring. Yeah. <laughs> but there was, it, uh... Yeah, and it just, it just came together really fast. And it's like, okay, dude, we're gonna start sending you more songs. <laughs> You're recording a record. <laughs> yeah, you started recording. And for me, you know, I've, I've been a fan of the band. So, and with, this, with, with the Idol story, I did the 18 in Life when I auditioned for Idol. Mm. It's just full circle, you know? I was in Heat for a while, well, 10 years. Uh, and then I just, I was heading in a completely different direction in my life. I was uh, gonna do a management thing or uh, like work on the other side of the music industry for a while. But then I got sick and my life changed completely. And I knew when I was at the hospital, I told myself, if I get out of here alive, I'm gonna sing for the rest of my life. I just don't know in, in uh, like, with what project, if, if it's solo or, or in a band. And then a couple of months later, Rachel contacted me on Instagram, and that was it. Now I'm here. Um, yeah. Hey yeah, exactly. And I knew exactly what I wanted to do with the songs when I heard them for the first time. When I listened to the songs, it was the Skid Row that I fell in love with. So I, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. And you know, it was just such a privilege to record these songs. The whole thing is, it's pretty serendipitous to be honest. Like, cause he was made aware to us several times outside of the heat thing. Like he would do a, the version of 18 in life he oh, yeah. did was, was put forth to us. We were like, wow. And someone was like, hey, if you're ever looking for a singer, this could be your guy. And we we're like, nah, we're cool right now. And then someone else would send us something. Yeah. And it'd be like, wow. And then for have it to have it all come together is completely serendipitous. So I've been trying to get these guys' attention for 13 years. That's what, we're, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Finally, I'm here. <laughs> you know? so we paid off all these people yeah. to tell us about them. Yeah. We made plans to all get together for the first rehearsal, which was a couple days before the first gig that we were to play together. And I think all of us at the same time realized that we had never all actually been in a room together at the same time. So that was a that was an interesting process leading up to that. Yeah. We met him in person on a Tuesday and played on a Saturday, our first show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true that was story. Yeah, yeah, true yeah. story. Yeah. The relationship you have with the people that you trust in your band, they should be easy. They should it should be fun. And it should be, you should feel alive doing this. And that's a big thing with Eric, is that there's a, there's a, a new sense of life that's going on here. And, and again, it feels like he's been here forever. And that is no small task. Tell, tear it down, tear it down.